So here's problem two from the test preview for AP Calc AB. This question presents us with a piecewise function. It says at what values of x, if any, is f not differentiable? Now if you're asked to determine differentiability, specifically for a piecewise function, there are two issues you have to worry about. You are not differentiable if you are not continuous. You are not differentiable if you have a cusp, if you have a spot on the graph where there's a drastic change in slope rather than a nice gradual change in slope. So there are only two x values that we really need to concern ourselves with here, negative one and two, if you look at these answer options. And those are the values where this piecewise function has the potential to have some issues. So what I did initially for both the x value of negative one and the x value of two is I tried to answer the question about continuity. Now I do see that the function is defined on this middle inequality at both of those x's. So my function is defined at both negative one and positive two, but is my limit going to exist at either or both of those values? So at negative one, I'm checking the limit as I approach that value. On the smaller side, I would be dealing with the top part of the definition of this function. Two over negative one gives me a limit of negative two. On the bigger side of negative one, I would be defined by the middle piece of the function. So if I take negative one and place it here, negative one squared is positive one, positive one minus three is negative two. Yes, I am continuous at negative one. Now that doesn't mean I'm differentiable there yet. I've got another question to ask and try to answer, and we'll get to that momentarily. But if we try to answer the continuity question about the x value of two, on the smaller side of two, I would be on this inequality, so using the middle part of the definition of the function, two squared minus three is one. On the bigger side of two, I would be on this bottom inequality, so using this bottom piece of the function, four times two, two minus three is five. I don't have a limit that exists at two. I am not continuous at the x of two, and because I'm not continuous, I know I'm not differentiable. So I mean, based on the fact that this is multiple choice and that we've already determined that we're not differentiable at two, the answer here is going to be this, right? I'm kind of surprised that this is a negative two in option C and not a positive two. Uh, I'm guessing that might've been a typo. So just in case it was, let's try to make sure we realize why we are not, why we are differentiable, excuse me, why we are differentiable at negative one. Two things have to happen in order for us to be differentiable. We've got to be continuous. If you're not continuous, there's no way you can be differentiable. Well, we are continuous at negative one. But I need to have a nice, smooth transition in slope at the location under consideration. So at negative one, do I or do I not have a cusp? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of this piecewise function, just part by part. This is just power rules for every single part here. Uh, so I end up with these three components for the derivative of each of the three function components. Now at negative one on the smaller side, I would be dealing with this top part of the function. What's the slope of this top part of the function as I get closer and closer to negative one on the smaller side? So what's the limit as I approach negative one from the smaller side for f prime? Well, if I put negative one in place of the x here and square it, it's positive one. Negative two divided by positive one gives me a slope of negative two as I approach negative one from the smaller side. Now, what happens if I approach negative one from the bigger side on f prime? Well, on the bigger side of negative one, the function definition tells me I'd be on the middle piece of the function. The derivative of that middle piece is two x. What's the slope of the graph as we approach negative one on that middle piece of the function from the bigger side? two times negative one, which is negative two, there is not a cusp at negative one, which tells us we are actually differentiable at negative one, even though there were two things that could have happened that would have made us not differentiable. So B is definitely the correct answer. Again, I'm thinking that this was probably meant to be a positive two and not a negative two, uh, because based on the fact that it's multiple choice, we could basically get our answer just by doing the work over uh, the work that's in blue.